Hello again, I'm Michael Kessy from the Mandelbrot Club. Today we're going to have a look at angles in the Zomba. You remember the Zomba, this uh, shape that uh, we've created using lots of rhombi or rhombuses? Good. Um, one of the questions you may ask is how many different shapes are there? You may remember in a previous video we I tried to color in these shapes. I'm going to cheat a little now because on Microsoft uh, Paint there's a little thing called a fill function. So if I can press on a button here, uh, go into there for example, um, I think I should be able to fill. Not quite yet. Let me just pause and see. What right, I've found out how to do it. I press a little bucket up here. Okay. Um, now what we're going to do is to look at different shapes. So I will fill in certain rhombi and we'll have a little think about what these shapes are. So let's start with, shall we say, my favourite colour red. So I know, for example, that wasn't correct. I do beg your pardon. Let's start again. Let's go back a bit. Uh, I want red here, so let's see if this works now. And we'll go to fill, and I think that should go red. That's it. Okay. That's one size. Let's choose now green for another one. My next favourite colour. So we have green here. That's another shape and size of rhombus. Let's choose a, a third one, a blue one, that one there. Let's choose a, a yellow one, that one there. And indeed, finally, let's have um, a purple one, perhaps that one there. I think there aren't any more shapes than those five. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the angles and see whether in fact some of those shapes are the same. So we're going to get on with some angles of the rhombi or the rhombuses in this zomba. Right, uh, we'll look at the angles around the centre. So first of all, let's choose a pencil uh, with which to work. We will choose uh, that pencil and we will choose, shall we say, a dark red colour here. That should give me, once I choose my brush, that will do nicely. Uh, a chance with little dots to describe the angles. Now I'm going to put dots at the sharp end of this rhombus. One there. There's one here, one here, one here, one, oops, not very good, one there, 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 and if this works in there. Right. They're all the same. Um, let's just assume that for the moment. And I have 12 dots. First question is how many degrees are there in a complete circle or revolution? Well, we know there are 360. Here we have 12 angles meeting at the centre, so that 360 is divided by 12. So first of all, we can say that the uh, angle at the sharp end of this rhombus, or the acute angle, is 360 divided by 12, which is 30. Let's go and pop that down for a moment. We'll say rhombus 1, Oops, let's get a better size. Rhombus one, that's a, the, the, the most squashed one. 30 degrees. Now, if you remember from the little video on rhombuses, we said one of the characteristics was that the opposite angles are equal. So let's just go and um, make a little um, mark now on the other angle. I'll choose that colour there. I'm going to choose again the basic brush. So this one here is also 30 degrees. We then have two angles left which are obtuse. Let's give them a yellow colour, so that one and that one. They're first of all equal, 
and the two purple plus the two yellow equal 360. Each purple is 30. That means the two yellows come to 300. Each yellow is therefore um, 300 divided by 2, which is 150. Let's put that down. Let's see if we can get it. I don't think we can, so I'll have to do another one. Um, this might be a little confusing. Rhombus 1 obtuse is 30, is, a, is 150 degrees. Bracket there, 150 degrees. Right, we'll stop that one there, that's six minutes. Um, so we've sorted out the angles in the most squashed of the rhombi or rhombuses uh, as 30 at each sharp end, each acute angle is 30 degrees, and 150 uh, in the blunt ends or the obtuse angles.